Hi everybody! Since we were delivering puppies today, it seemed like a good time to answer some questions that we have been asked about delivering puppies and how we do things. Um, as I said in the description, I am not a vet, so none of this is medical advice. This is just information for fun for our families on how we do things here. First we have our whelping chart, which will record what is born at what time and their weight so we can track to make sure they're growing appropriately and then a description so that we can always tell them apart. Uh, we choose to help our moms with the removal of the cord. So these are a pair of hemostats that we use to clamp the cord and then sharp scissors to cut it. Um, we also have a bulb syringe to suction out any amniotic fluid. Uh, lots of pee pads to clean up mess. Um, there's extra hemostats and then we also keep our thermometer in there that we only use on our moms uh, because dogs temperatures drop typically before labor about 24 hours to give us a heads up. Then we also have our disinfectant wipes to clean off our instruments and everything as we go along. We also use a food scale, that's how we know what they weigh. And then after each puppy is born, we use Breeder's Edge Oral Cow Plus. Giving them calcium helps them for their milk, it gives them energy and helps that they do not have uterine inertia, which we have dealt with in the past and is a very scary thing. At that point, we contact our vet and Dr. Amadi helps us go from there. Also, uh, we deliver in our shower because we're able to bleach everything down prior to, so everything is nice and clean. Um, and then we have rags in here, as well as uh, a heating pad for the puppy in between. Puppies' moms aren't as uh, attentive, and we wanna make sure that we keep puppies warm. The most dangerous thing that can happen when you are delivering puppies is that they, uh, they get too cold. They can't digest the milk and then uh, they can die. So we make sure we don't do that. The other uh, really important thing for delivery is that they stay hydrated. So we give our moms uh, vanilla ice cream in between each puppy um, if, they, so if they want it. Uh, Sunkiss did drink some after she uh, delivered her little boy and it gives her sugar for energy and of course helps with the calcium and hydration. And of course we keep food and water. Moms rarely eat, but we do have it there as uh, an option for them. Uh, we also use a humidifier because it's better for the babies to breathe. And then we keep a heater in here because we try to keep the room around 80 degrees so that it's nice and warm when the puppies come into the world. Uh, we keep lots of rags to make sure that we can wipe everybody off uh, after they're born, as well as making sure that we are stimulating them to help them breathe and clean up. Um, as we watch in between the puppies, you can see Sunkiss right now. She is sitting because she is uh, getting ready to, uh, to push. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video that she is pushing and that we are about to have another baby. It is not a clean um, thing, and if you have children, it might be best if they do not watch this, if you do not want them to see uh, an animal be brought into the world. sweet girl. Good job, mama. Good job. We're really lucky that Sunkist is a seasoned mom and has had a couple litters before. So this is not um, a scary situation for her. Sometimes when we have first time moms, they're very confused as to 
uh, why they are in pain and what's going on and we spend a lot more time um, giving them affection and trying to do what we can to calm them down and keep them comfortable um, as uh, we have moms that have had more than one baby then we know that uh, they know what's going on and what to do and we just let nature take its course. So typically a lot of times we do an x-ray. Um, as she was not due until this weekend, um, we had an appointment, but now we'll change our appointment that we have with our vet from um, an x-ray to having their dew claws removed and tails docked. Uh, that is not something that we do here at Happily Ever Schnau after Schnauzers. We have our vet do that uh, surgically. Um, it's best to have their tails docked between two to three days. Um, the latest that you can do it medically is five days. We really like to do it at two or three days. That seems to be the best for the puppies and for mom. Uh, we have dew claws removed because, um, as I have said at different places, uh, I worked at a vet when I was in college and I saw two different dogs get their dew claws caught on things and it was a horrible bloody mess. Um, and uh, they almost died from loss of blood. Um, and there have been dogs that have died from loss of blood, getting their dew claw caught on their crate. Um, and so we go ahead and have them removed so that um, we don't ever have to have our families be concerned um, that something could happen. And it is not painful to them as it is not a bone at that point. It is, a, it is just cartilage. So we, uh, we with our vet, feel that that is uh, the best case for us. As well as when the puppies go in, we have mom go in with them so that our vet can check her out and make sure that she's doing well. Um, after uh, dogs deliver babies, um, they're not completely out of the woods, just like for humans. Um, they can have issues with a calcium loss or if they happen to not deliver all their placentas. Um, there are a lot of different things that go into it. So as we have talked to uh, different people that have asked us about breeding, uh, our first piece of advice is to find a vet who you agree with, that you can feel comfortable with and have a relationship with because um, they are, a good vet is indispensable to a breeder. That is the most important uh, relationship that we can have. And uh, we're really thankful for Dr. Amadi and all of his staff. So, um, I do, this litter will not have any, uh, any blue eyes, Kelsey. Um, these uh, parents both have brown eyes. Um, so in order for there to be any puppies that have blue eyes, one parent has to have blue eyes. Um, I'm not gonna get into a, a big discussion here, but uh, blue eyes is something that is, uh, you have to be very careful breeding and know what you're doing. Uh, you cannot breed two blue-eyed dogs together. Um, you can have deaf and dumb dogs um, because uh, blue eyes is a recessive gene and learning uh, a little bit about genetics. There are some great courses on the AKC website that are free um, that will teach you about uh, genetics and all the different things that, that go into that. Uh, as well as I do recommend uh, someone finding a mentor. Um, I have several breeders that have helped me so much uh, learning about breeding, learning about genetics, learning about delivery, um, and I'm still learning. Uh, I've only been doing this for um, uh, several years, and I have people that I talk to that have been doing it for 20 to 30 years, and I'm just amazed at what um, at what I've learned from them. So uh, a lot of this is hurry up and wait um, <laughs> as far as uh, as far as delivery. Um, but she's doing exactly what we want to see. Um, she is uncomfortable, hence she is sitting, not laying down. 
Um, and if you've been watching her stomach, you can see the contractions um, as they come. And so each puppy has to be moved down into the birth canal. So when you deliver puppies, it is incredibly rare that you have boom, boom, boom deliveries. Um, it can happen. Uh, we've had some that are just a few minutes apart. Um, but uh, typically, you have 30 minutes to two, sometimes three hours in between puppies, uh, just depending on how they are in the birth canal, how they are lined up. Um, but this is also why you always want to have a relationship with your vet, that uh, if you get concerned about too much time in between puppies or the way a mom is acting, um, can tell you a lot. Um, having a relationship with your dog is, I believe, indispensable um, when it comes to delivering and breeding. Um, you just know so much from knowing their demeanor, their, the way they act, um, when you need to intervene and when it's just best to let nature do, do its thing. Uh, because there are a lot of schools of thought on time in between puppies and uh, when we need to intervene. looks like we're getting a little bulgy um, at her bottom. Um, that is another way that you can uh, tell when a puppy is coming. Um, so hopefully she will deliver uh, for this video. Uh, there is also uh, a myth about uh, green. So um, because if you have green in the amniotic fluid for humans, uh, people think for dogs that is not good, and that is actually not true. Um, yellow is uh, the color that you do not want to see um, when you are delivering puppies. Um, if you have yellow, it's very rare that the puppy will survive, um, and uh, it's, it's usually too late. Um, but green uh, is, is not a bad color to see. None of what you see on this pad here is a problem um, for mom. Hey, Sunkins. Um, this little boy is a uh, black and white party if you're not familiar with uh, schnauzer coloring. Uh, Sunkiss is a black and white party. Um, he was 3.9 ounces and uh, is doing great. He was suckling on mom earlier um, and has uh,